Hi friends, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to discuss on the steps to create local YUM repository using an ISO image or DBD on CentOS or Red Hat 7. Little bit about YUM repositories. So, YUM repositories are warehouse of Linux software or you can say RPM package files. And I believe we all know RPM package files is a Red Hat package manager file which enable quick and easy software installation on Red Hat or CentOS 7 or any release basically. Uh, RPM files are supported uh, from the beginning on uh, uh, Red Hat. So now next question which comes into our mind, why we need local YUM repositories? So a couple of scenarios, but I will explain two main scenarios. First one, in case your system is not having internet access and you prefer to use YUM because the beauty of YUM uh, that it can resolve all dependencies, it can install all dependent packages. Whereas if you're using traditional RPM method, uh, you have to manually search which particular package is delivering that uh, dependency file. So that's the beauty of YUM friends. Other thing, you want to keep a stable version of local repositories. That is to ensure your old system gets same package. Uh, that's the other reason. So now to create a local YUM repository, there are two prerequisites. First one, you need approximate 8 GB of free space. Second, you need a source image that can be your DVD or ISO. We are going to create local YUM re repository in three easy steps. In first step, we will create a repo directory. We will dump the image. If you, if you see on my screen, uh, I have listed two methods. If you're using ISO or if you're using DVD. So steps are same, only thing one command will be different, which is a, a method to copy the data. Second step that is uh, we will create a repository configuration file and we will refresh the yum configuration or you can say we will uh, refresh the yum cache. Third step we will test our yum repository. So let's begin technical session friend. Okay guys uh, I have uh, opened this session to my machine on which we are going to create local repository. First thing which I told we need a file system with minimum mass, 6 GB of file system space, free file system space. I'm going to use a slash application file system with quote uh, 10 GB space. Here I have created a directory inside that file system uh, with sent OS 7 underscore repo. That's a directory name. This directory we will use to uh, dump all the content of uh, ISO or uh, your DVD. I'm just creating one temporary mount point to mount uh, my DVD image because I'm going to use uh, DVD image as my uh, source package. Uh, I'm mounting uh, my DVD using mount command, mount dev CD ROM on uh, MNT ISO which I just created. It is mounted. Let me verify the contents whether this is right image. If you see, this is CentOS, yep, this got packages, this got repo data, this got keys, so this is the right file. Next thing which I have to do, I have to move the, con not move, basically copy the content from my DVD, this is my DVD, to my local reposo repository directory. I'm using rsync to do so, enter. So rsync process is started and uh, it's approximate 4 GB of data on uh, DVD. So it might take couple of minutes. So I will pause. Uh, if you see uh, the package copy has been started, all these files are packages which are getting copied uh, locally on my machine. I will pause this session. rsync press process still going on friend. So we have to wait. Okay friends, if you can see all data got copied, so let's verify content of our local repo directory now. So it got uh, 
CentOS image uh, and all the required packages. So all structure is there. Now our next step, we will create a repo configuration file. To do so, friends, uh, this is directory which uh, have all the repo images yum dot repo dot d. I am just uh, uh, change the directory to that particular directory. And this is the existing contents of this directory. If you see all the reposit repo files, they are ending with dot repo. So that's a syntax that uh, we have to maintain. Whatever new repo configuration file we create, that should end with dot repo. Then only em will read that file. Otherwise, it will not read it. So here, what I'm going to do, because these repositories are default repositories which are delivered uh, when we install operating system and they they are configured uh, for me to connect to send to a servers right now I don't have internet connectivity that's the whole purpose of my activity I'm creating local repository so I'm just removing all these files okay so all are deleted now let me run yum repo list If you see, there is no repository configured as of now. Why? Because I have deleted all the repository configuration files. So let me create my local repo file. It is not must to delete uh, all repo files, but I'm just deleting for uh, more clarity. So here I will create my local repo file in this directory vi. I'm naming it as sent os7 local. As I told, it should end with dot repo. Enter, escape I. And uh, I have already prepared content for this file. Let me paste it. Okay. So this is the descript uh, repo name. Sent to a seven local. This is the repo name, and uh, this is the comment section or a description. I have uh, described it as my local sent to a seven repository. And this is base URL, base URL like from where it will uh, get the pack packages. If you see this keyword file, file mean uh, all the contents are local. It may be HTTPS, which mean um, for any repository query, it will go to web to get the packages. But in my case, it's local. So I have specified file. Then this is the path slash application slash sent OS 7 underscore repo enabled one. What it means, this repository is enabled. If it is set to zero, it means uh, repository is configured, but that is not enabled. GPG check. Uh, this is my lab setup, so I'm not uh, much bothered about GPG key. So I have uh, kept it disabled, which means zero. I'm just saving this file. Okay. So now that's a recommendation or best practice whenever you modify your repositories. Just run yum clean all. What it means? It will. Uh, clear the yum cache it will load the new content okay so now let's verify the yum configuration here i will run command yum repo list one word if you see uh, right now it got only one repository this is the repo id and uh, this is the description of my repository and this is the status these are number of uh, rpms in that particular repository okay so friends my repo is configured now time to test let me verify if http package is already installed on my system or not by minus i httpd if you see right now httpd is not there so let's install this package using my local repository yum install HTTPD enter so here if you see uh, this package is getting installed locally for from my CentOS local repository and these are four dependency packages and you have automatically taken care of this one so I am saying yes install it here So friends, uh, package installation completed. Let me verify. Okay. 
Okay, so that's the whole uh, steps to configure repository friend package got installed. So that's very easy. You can try it on your lab setup. In case you face any issue or you need any help, just uh, leave a comment on my YouTube channel. Definitely I will try to help you. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye.